Hello friends and welcome to this instructional video on how to do lab and this is a uh, question 2 in set 2 whoops all right so let's go through the required apparatus first we have two stands two bosses two clamps hopefully by now you know what they are okay but we have a new clamp here we have the G clamp ooh what is the G clamp well it is it has the letter G okay and i'm going to bloop out a picture of it now Okay, so you can see this is a G-clamp. Um, I purposely uh, screw it this way on my table, as you will see later. Okay, because um, it's easier for me to turn the knob here than to turn it underneath the table. Lah. Okay, but the so-called right way is to flip it. Okay, the important thing about the G-clamp is to hold your stand in place so that this base doesn't move. Alright, we have three hard spheres of a diameter approximately 15 mm sure uh, 100 cm length of flexible plastic track you will see it later a uh, stopwatch you know what this look like meter ruler 30 cm ruler and a place to put all your stuff okay so i think we can start now no need for me to show you this one by one so the experiment will look like this okay so you are given uh, information and diagram it says here you will investigate how the motion of a sphere on the track depends on the radius of the track so basically i have two variables already motion and radius and it says set up the apparatus as shown in figure 2.1 so this is the side view you should try your best to make sure that your track doesn't curve outwards or inwards lah, right this is the front view okay so and there are g clamps here to make sure your stands are in place all right so i'll read a bit more first x is the horizontal distance between the end of the track so here and here. Y is the vertical distance between the top and the bottom of the track. Noted. Distance Y should be approximately 10 cm. Okay. Measure and record the distance Y as shown in figure 2.1. Estimate the percentage uncertainty in your value of Y. I always recommend that people read the whole thing before they start. Okay. And you're going to measure and record the distance X. And you're going to calculate the radius. Okay. Place a sphere on the track as shown. And release the sphere and watch the movement. The sphere will move down one side of the track and up the other side. Completing a cycle as shown. Okay. The time taken for one complete cycle is T. By timing several of these complete cycles. So you cannot just time one law. You must time a few. Maybe five if you can. Ten if you can. Okay. So we need definitely more than one. Okay. Several complete cycles. So your reading would be, let's say you decided to time five uh, oscillation. The ball go up and come down five times. So you have five T is equal to well, what second. And since they have... You're talking about timing, so you should have two timing. So phi t1 is equal to how many seconds? So t1 is equal to 1. Then phi t2 is equal to this many seconds. Okay. And t2 is this one. So hence, t will be equal to whatever value you got for t1 plus t2 divided by 2. Don't forget your answer in seconds. All right, so if you're going to do this lab in person in a few days, then I will recommend that you actually try the experiment, use the stopwatch. Just a reminder that timing is in two, wait, is in one decimal point. Preferred timing. So if you're timing at home, make sure you use a stopwatch ah, because maybe the timestamp don't have one, 0 0.1 second. Okay. Uh, Reduce X by approximately 5 cm and then repeat all the steps. Okay, so this means what we'll do is we will bring the retort stand closer to each other. Okay, so we bring the retort stand closer to each other. This thing will be curvier. Mm -hmm. And we're going to repeat the experiment again. Okay, so I think that's it. And then after that is the standard one. You find the value of K. You justify the significant figure. Refer to the first one that you've did. Talk about the suggested relationship and suggest some improvements and limitations. So you can see I blooped up the track here. All right. Right. This is an example of how the setup can look like. Okay. 
Just make sure you clamp it properly. If you want a reference to this diagram, it will be available in your OneNote. So good luck with the experiment. Stay calm. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.